Lights, camera, action. Once famed for Jackie Chan kung fu comedies and police dramas, Hong Kong has seen its film scene gradually eclipsed by mainland China, where there's more opportunity and more money. But a new wave of Hong Kong filmmakers is defiant, insisting on keeping it local. As a new director and a young person, if I don't first do things I'm familiar with, I don't believe that I will get money to do things out of my comfort zone. So I would rather work with limited resources on something I think I'm good at. That would be ideal. Money is tight and the industry is in trouble. Just a few dozen films were made here last year, compared to an average of around 200 back in the late 20th century. Local director Rita Hoy's latest film is about political unrest in Hong Kong. She says it's likely to be banned in China. Though this would doubtless hit box office revenues, she is determined to press on. There are a lot of things that we have to learn, have to tell, or have to split it out about the Hong Kong history. Well, otherwise, we, we, we can't have a kind of the attachment with Hong Kong. There are widespread fears that Beijing is tightening its grip on the former British colony. And some filmmakers are worried that already scarce funding for new films could dry up. You can only say a certain amount of things in, in, in Chinese filmmaking. Um, so you're making period dramas, you're making uh, you know, action films and stuff like that, as, as opposed to more socially relevant films. Whereas here, we have to do the opposite. Well, we have to go smaller budgets, more concerned about the few freedoms we still have left. The critical and commercial success of 10 years, a low budget film depicting Hong Kong life in 2025, hints at a change in mood. And despite the mainland's money, more filmmakers may look to follow its example to keep the cameras rolling and the Hong Kong spirit alive. Okay, go. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.